Hey guys, it's way back with another review for you on today, and today I'm very excited. I actually have the 501st Legion Clone Trooper, I guess you could say Battle Pack. I say Battle Pack, I don't care, I'm sticking to it. The 501st Legion Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Yes, we have been waiting for this for the longest, longest time, and we finally got it. I finally, I know I'm kind of late on it, but I'm very excited. I don't care. Set number 75280, 285 pieces, ages 7 and up. Obviously, we're like Star Wars. It comes with a total of six minifigures. So I'm definitely very excited, especially we got the Battle Droids back. Um, we haven't had Battle Droids in a while. And we also got uh, one Jet Trooper of the 501st and then three regular Clone Troopers of the 501st. So I'm definitely excited. Um, let me give you a view of the box. So that's going to be the bottom. Obviously, the front. It's going to be the side view with the ATRT right there for you. Uh, the wall. We got the other side right here and you got the top and then it's gonna be the bottom i mean sorry the back um so yeah it's definitely with the speeder and you got the the walker here you also have a little bit of the features that they're just kind of showing off especially with the launcher and how articulated the walker is and then here you guys you see the new star wars the skywalker saga game so i'm definitely excited um but yeah you know talk let's get into it and we are back all right so it took me a little bit of while to build it i wanted to get everything right um it came with quite a few uh stickers not gonna lie um that's an instruction booklet right there nothing too special about it same thing that you normally get with an instruction booklet especially about the being able to scan the instruction book into the actually your phone as a pdf file so put that to the side so enough of that let's get into the set so uh let's start out with the speeder i haven't seen this build in a while um i haven't i know i saw it in, with the rebel set but i really haven't seen it in a while as far as a actual like a star wars clone wars kind of um set um i love the design it's always the exact same almost different is that it has the stud shooters in the front um it also has the um, blasters right there with the lightsaber hill attached to the front of it um and that you can actually have enough room to fit one person you actually move that forward um but yeah there was a sticker right here that's one and then you got three more right here as far as design um for the design i thought it was going to be printed but i don't mind the stickers it was pretty easy to put on so yeah you also have that plate right there to actually there's just that two studs to actually put somebody on there um oh sorry i had to crack my my knuckles all right so that's going to be the speeder and this is going to be the walker oh sorry it's more sturdy than that, trust me. I just put it wrong. Um, this has about four more stickers. I, I, no, 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 sorry. It has one, has one here, has another right up here. It also has two more up here for the 501st design. And then it has another one, two, three right here for the whole front. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven on this one, which I don't mind. Um, like I said, it was a pretty easy build. With the actual, here's gonna be a stud shooter right there on that uh, Technic uh, ball joint. Um, good amount of mobility right there as far as getting it at an angle. In case you got a bad dro battle droid right under you, has a pretty good hole. I guess 180 of a spin, it doesn't do a 360, obviously. Um, you have enough room with the two studs right there to put one uh, minifigure. Um, I'm trying to see if I try to remember, but I believe this piece right here, this panel right here, is actually printed. Um, I like the color that they've been using for the five uh, for the five I really really do enjoy the color. It doesn't um, take over the whole thing as far as um, build wise. Um, it's pretty articulated. That's as far as like the top part of the leg will go. You can actually extend this and put it a little higher, and you can actually put it in a little bit of a running motion if you could. Oh my god, and I popped that off on accident. That was my bad. Um, to a certain degree, it, it's articulated in the actual foot itself. Um, it's because of the piece that they actually put the grill piece right here. That's that piece that stops it from going too far. So I might do a little bit of a, um, a different upgrades to it change it up just a bit but yeah most of the pieces go into the actual build itself obviously since um there's not that many minifigures um but yeah you have enough minifigure to, uh you have enough room to put a minifigure on this one and this one just one 
So, uh, yeah, so that's for the vehicles. Let's get to the uh, troopers, actually. So I'm actually really excited about these new 501st troopers that we actually got. Um, obviously, the blue detailing on their helmet doesn't go all the way back. I don't mind that because we actually got more detailing on the actual helmet, which looks really, really good. And I was actually hoping that I didn't get one of those misprints. At the same time, I was kind of hoping to get a misprint. Um, I don't know why. I was just looking forward to it. <laughs> then you get the fire. Uh, you got the torso detail right there with the detail on the legs, and of course you got some printing on the actual f feet right there for you. And so I'm really excited. Two things: they brought the blasters back. No more freaking stud shooters. Only on the vehicles, which I don't really mind. And then we also got a new face. It's kind of a really tan kind of. It actually looks just like the Clone Wars, which I'm really excited. So it's like kind of kind of like a skin color tan. Um, no do um, no double sided face, obviously. Sorry, I was like not pointing at the actual camera. Um, I, it's really good. I'm really glad that they actually changed the faces. Actually, getting um, giving us the exact same face they've been giving us for years and years and years. And each clone trooper actually has the exact same face. Um, only difference between them has to be, well, one, this trooper right here, now actually has a long rifle right there for you. He, they actually did a new mold and they actually added this kind of extension. I'm guessing it's kind of like an, a silencer, I guess you can say it is. I, I'm saying it is, because it's really cool, but I'm actually glad, just really glad that they brought back the blasters. I was sick and tired. Almost everybody in the Lego community was getting sick and tired, especially if they're a Star Wars fan, of those stupid stud shooters, because it was good for a good time, but then just kind of overdone it with adding it to the vehicles and taking out the flick fire missiles, and it's a whole big thing. <laughs> um, so the detailing is the exact same on all three of the 501st uh, Troopers. This one is, has a little bit of difference. The line doesn't go run down right down the middle. It actually has kind of like a, a blue pattern on top of the actual chest piece. Um, same detailing as far as the leg-wise and actual uh, uh, feet-wise. Um, only difference on this one is that it has, she has blue arms instead of white arms like the troopers right over here. Um, it also comes with uh, the jetpack actually. And I don't know if I showed you this, my bad. Take that around. That's gonna be the printing on the back. So it's almost the exact same thing for almost all of them. It's just, uh, this is actual plane in the back. Um, this one just has a little blue detailing in the back for the actual jetpack. Um, since they're a jetpack trooper, they get different detailing, and I will go into detail about the actual helmet, if I put the face on, which I don't mind not having a double-sided face, I really don't. So here's going to be the jetpack trooper right here for you, instead of having like that detailing that the actual 501st normal trooper has, it has the blue and the actual indents that should give it a little bit more detail, um, it has more of a, um, kind of like, uh, stripe as far as uh, detailing on the actual helmet. I don't even know how to describe it. Stripe? Is that what you're going to call it? Let me know in the comments down below what would you call that detailing on the top. Please let me know. And then you actually got the detailing as far as like little red lines as far as on the helmet right there and you got the mark right on the forehead. So I'm really excited. I'm definitely going to be probably getting another set. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, definitely, that's definitely a good set. This is definitely a good set. Not even that. It is a good set. Um, and then just the normal battle uh, battle droids that we got. We've been getting them for a long time. You know, You know, there's nothing wrong with them at all. There's nothing really need, they need to change from the battle droids. They're still going to be the exact same. Um, I'm just glad that we got them back. I'm really glad because, you know, for a good amount of time with all this uh, uh, Force Awakens and The Last Jedi and then... Um, Ugh, Rise of Skywalker movies. We really haven't gotten any battle droids. Um, and I'm glad that the Clone Wars came out with a new season, the last season, so that way we can get battle droids and we're Clone Wars sets out here because that's like one of the best lines that we've had of Star Wars in a very long time. So yeah. Um, let, let me know what y'all think of the set in the comments down below. Remember, always smash that like button and subscribe if you're not. Hit that bell notification. And as far as me giving this a 10, like out of 10, I'm giving it a 10. 10 out of 10, completely. 20 out of 20. It's just a great set. We've been waiting for it for so long, and I'm really happy with it. I always see the walkers a little bit uh, too big. 
um, as far as like comparison to an actual minifigure. But nothing a little bit of uh, fixing and customizing won't fix. So yeah, this is Sway with another review for you today. And I hope y'all have a great day.